My name is Mike Bytus. Everybody calls me Mikey, and I'm the current president of the regiment. My name is Jeff Uick. Been a battery fan since 1993. I'm the treasurer of the regiment. I'm Drew Barto. I joined the regiment. I think this is three going on four years now. The regiment started, like most things do in soccer, uh, over a couple beers uh, back in 1999. With the moving into the new stadium, that it was everybody became, hey, you know, we really need to put something together here, more more official and more efficient, and obviously something that was uh, more visible. Started in the West Stands. I was apparently too loud for the West Stands and was offered a chance to go be as loud as I want and you want it. Over the years we have taken collections for um, players' families that were injured or players that were injured, um, players' families that, had, uh, that lived in a country where there was a natural disaster. Uh, we've done a lot of things for the community. Some various charities. Uh, last couple years we've we did a lot with the Palmetto um, Military Support Group. Uh, they, they organized an annual foot golf tournament, um, and we would typically have four or five teams in that. There's so much stuff that happens outside that no one really sees that we do. So my wife, Michelle, and the girls, they make cupcakes and birthday cakes for the players post-match. I think they, we did every every home game now for going on two seasons now, two straight seasons. Probably one of my favorite regiment memory, memories as for, the, for uh, a, a game, probably the 2003 uh, championship. Um, the, you know, 5,700 people here, standing room only. Uh, when they won, everybody just stormed the pitch. There's the 24-hour Open Cup match where we all took off of work at 12, rented a van, drove all the way to Kennesaw to KSU for the Open Cup match and then drove all the way back. Got here at like 4.30 in the morning and had to be back to work at 6. Well, the mission of the battery as I see it, it's, it's not just match day. Uh, the battery very, very much seems like a family to me. It's why I love this team, right? Their players were fans, but at the end of the day, when they come along the board and they shake everyone's hand, and we're all on a first name basis. So that means a lot. It's a family, right? We're all one big family. And I've gone to MLS games, and it's not like that. I mean, there are fans, and then there's the team, and everything's separate, right? There's no intermingling with the players and stuff like that. And that's like something that I, I truly cherish. I think probably one of my favorite regiment experiences is, is not something specific. It's just seeing some of the people I have been in the regiment with for the last 19 years, uh, watching their kids grow up and become fans. The, the battery to me is synonymous with family. Sure, there have been some changes, you know, from Stonyfield to here, the owners and presidents coming in and coming out, but they've all embraced the exact same uh, theory. You have to be close, uh, you want to be in touch with the fans, and you want to give the fans access to, that they, they like, they crave, and you get it all here at the Battery, no doubt. Family, it's, I need the Battery, I need game nights on Saturday like I need oxygen to breathe. So being able to yell and scream in E1, being able to set off the smoke, being able to bang on the drums, being able to heckle opposing teams and officials, I mean, that's, it doesn't get much better than that. The battery is more than just a club, it's a family, and uh, we take care of each other on and off the field. And uh, I feel like you know, that's, that's what the regiment logo is all about, is uh, supporting the battery on and off the field. And uh, I really, you know, that family feeling uh, will stick with me for as long as I'm, uh, I live.